Join me for this tutorial and I show you how to set up monday.com for Confluence and achieve total transparency with your team, having access to important monday.com data directly in Confluence. Hi, my name is Björn, I'm co-CEO of Resolution and welcome to this tutorial of monday.com for Confluence. In this tutorial, I will show you how to create successful connection between Confluence and Monday.com, how to start accessing Monday.com board and items in Confluence, and what happens when allowing all teams access to each other's data, the benefits of Monday.com for Confluence and how to use them to your advantage. What are the pain points? Not having access to all the relevant data often means the data is being duplicated in order to have access to it in different places, all while using the time for valuable resources. Having to manually input data across multiple platforms often causes data to be out of date and completely inaccurate. Not having access to all of the information or data can result to a communication gap, causing a team to be at risk for failure. Not having access to the relevant data can cause frustration, especially when there are longer processes to follow to get you in your hands for correct information. By integrating Monday.com with Confluence, you bridge the data sharing gap between teams, allowing a team to succeed more effectively, all while mitigating the risk of failing into pool out outdated data. No more waiting on internal replies, teams have direct access to important Monday.com information within Confluence, simply by embedding the relevant data into the desired Confluence pages and enjoying up-to-date data at all times. Now, let's jump into Confluence and see how to connect Monday.com with Confluence. In order to successfully connect Monday.com with Confluence, you have to start by downloading the Monday.com for Confluence app from the Atlassian Marketplace. You'll be able to find the link in the video description below. Once you have successfully downloaded the app, head over to the Confluence instant and go to Monday.com configuration, which can be found by navigating to apps and then to manage your apps. From here, click on monday.com configuration from the left-hand panel. Now, click on create connection. Give a name to your connection. From the select Confluence user group selection, you can choose which users are allowed to connect to monday.com with this connection by only allowing their specific user groups. This is a great way to ensure that only the right people can access monday.com. Now you can click on next to proceed to the next step. In order for the connection to work between Confluence and Monday.com, the apps has to be installed on both instances. And in these steps, we are adding the app to our Monday.com instance as well. Install the Monday.com for Jira app on your Monday.com instance by clicking on Add to Monday. In a new tab, you will be redirected to your Monday.com instance make sure that you are in the correct monday.com instance and select the workspace where the app needs to be installed to follow by clicking on install. Once the app is successfully installed on the monday.com instance, head back to the Confluence tab with the open monday.com configuration window and click on next. Review the details which you have entered and click on authenticate, followed by clicking on connect to your Monday account. Once you are redirected to your monday.com instance, click on Authorize to complete this step. When you have successfully created the connection between Confluence and monday.com, you will see the success screen. Click on Continue to finalize the configuration. Once the connection has been completed, you will see the available connection screen, which tells you exactly which user groups and projects from part of this connection between Confluence and Monday.com. You can return to this page at any time to make changes to the connection by clicking on Edit Connection, or you can remove the connection by clicking on Disconnect. Now that the connection is successfully created, Confluence users are able to access Monday.com data by embedding boards or items into Confluence pages. The goal is to give teams complete access to updated monday.com data directly in Confluence. 
allowing them to make informed decisions and eliminate any frustration such as having to wait for data or having constantly duplicated data. Let's create a new Confluence page and start embedding monday.com boards and items. To embed a monday.com board into Confluence, I need to start by creating a Confluence page within my desired space. I call it Product Journey. I am ready to start embedding a monday.com board. So I start by using my monday.com shortcut to open the monday.com interface. I make sure to select boards as I want to embed the entire monday.com board. Now I'm prompted to paste my shareable monday.com link so I navigate to my desired monday.com board. Inside my monday.com board, I go to the shared section and copy the shareable link. Now that I have the link, I can go back to Confluence and I paste the link in the text box as requested. Now we see that since I've pasted the link, I have unlocked more text fields where I need to give a name to my board. I name it Product Journey. I can also change the board settings by choosing to zoom in or out and I set it to 125%. I also want to tweak the size, so I change it from default to 600. Now that I'm done, I can click on Embed. I have my board embedded, but is to zoom in, so I need to change the zoom settings. I click on the pencil icon to view the edit window. From the edit window, I navigate to zoom and I set it back to 100%, followed by clicking the Embed button. I prefer this setting, but want to be wider. So now I can click on the Max Width button to make it wider. I want to copy the board and I do it by clicking Copy icon. You can paste it where you need it. Now that I have pasted the board on the page where it already exists, I want to delete it. I do so by clicking it on the Trash icon. Now that I'm happy with that preview, I go ahead and publish the page for everyone to access. To embed monday.com items into Confluence, I need to start by creating a Confluence page within my desired space. I call it product distribution. I'm ready to start embedding monday.com items, so I start by using my monday.com shortcut to open the monday.com interface. I make sure to select items as I want to embed selected monday.com items. To find the relevant items to embed, I must first select my workspace followed by my board. Once I have selected, uh, selected the board, a list of items will appear and I can select the items by clicking the checkbox next to them. If I do not see my desired item, I can search for it in the search box and select it once it appears. Before I go ahead and embed these items, I realized that I do not want the budget column to be shown. To remove it, I click on other options followed by deselecting budget from the filter by column dropdown. With the column sorted, I no longer want to see the second data group, so I deselect it from the filter by groups dropdown. I also do not want to have the group title to be shown, so I switch that off by clicking hide group titles. Now I am ready to embed my data, so I click on embed. I have decided to make one more change to the embedded data, so before I publish the page. I click go ahead and click on the pencil button. From here, I deselect the item product packaging and click embed to apply my changes. I'm not able to see all of the data details. So I widen to view by click max width button. I want to copy the items and I do so by clicking copy icon. From here, I can paste it where I need it. Now that I have pasted the board on the page where it already exists, I wanted to delete it. Now that I'm happy with that preview, I go ahead and publish the page for everyone to access. For a more holistic overview of the monday.com board that are embedded into Confluence pages, you can check out of the monday.com gallery page. Here you are able to see exactly which boards were embedded to which Confluence page to easier navigate through your embedded data. By clicking on Confluence link, we open the Confluence page where a monday.com board is already embedded and we are able to view the data. 
When we click on board number one, we get a quick pop-up view of the embedded monday.com board, making it easy to differentiate between the different boards that were embedded. Now that I have shown you how to connect monday.com with Confluence, you can enable your teams to make more informed decisions with up-to-date data, allowing them to perform their day-to-day -day responsibilities more effectively. Remember, this is only one example of how this integration can help one business. The possibilities are endless and you can customize it according to your specific business needs. And there you are, you have it. You have finished watching this tutorial on connecting monday.com with Confluence. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you try that, please send your suggestions and we are happy to keep improving the product. Thank you for watching. Cheers.